problem like this and be like, whoa, this problem looks way too confusing to be able to solve by factoring. But first thing you always want to do is look at common factors. And you guys can see in this case, we have a common factor of x. So I will factor out an x. Does everybody agree with me? Yes? OK. Now, to understand a problem like this, what I want you guys to understand is here is a trinomial they want us to factor. But instead of a trinomial being a quadratic trinomial, meaning it's raised to the second power, which we know how to factor, it's being raised to the fourth power. So what I want you to do then is just for a quick second, forget about this problem, and let's just rewrite it as x squared minus 6x plus 8. Can we factor x squared minus 6x plus 8? What two numbers multiply to give you 8, add to give you a negative 6? Negative 2 and negative 4. So we have x minus 2 and x minus 4. Would everybody agree to me that that works? So that's our factored form. Our only problem is x times x gives us x squared. We need it to be this times this gives us x to the fourth. So x So we know it's going to be minus 2 and minus 4. But what power should my x's be that are going to give me x to the fourth but add to give me x squared? Which power should they be? Square. So put a 2 there. Right? x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. Negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. x squared times negative 2 is negative 2x squared x squared times negative 4 is negative 4x squared. Negative 4x squared plus negative 2x squared is negative 6x squared. Right? So it works. So a lot of times, just think of it as a trinomial and then just rewrite it with your higher powers. Now we have a product set equal to 0. So we have to apply the zero product property. Square root, square root, square root, square root. 